because I know that there are some stakeholders who could literally work up to such women and ask them. So you, with this your small breast, you think you'll be able to produce enough breast milk. You have to be adding food because your breast won't be able to produce enough breast milk. The question now is, does the size of a woman's breast affect breast milk production? Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome to the family. My name is Evelyn and I am a registered midwife. On Midwife's Diary, we talk about everything maternal and newborn care. So the topic of today's video is, does the size of a woman's breast affect breast milk production? The size of a woman's breast really has to do with more of genetic factors. And for a woman with smaller breasts, it means that you have small breast fat attached to the muscles or let me say the body of your breast. It doesn't mean that you have small breast milk making tissues. They are two different things all together. Breast milk production is a psychological and a physiological process. Wait, let me explain. What I mean is that it starts in the brain. So when you put your baby to breast physically and your baby sucks the breast, it sends signal to the brain. And these signals will in turn let the brain release some hormones. The hormones, or let me say chemicals, would help in the production of the breast milk. So the more you put your baby to breast, the more the milk production. Usually we see that women will be saying, oh, the breast milk is not flowing or it's too small, so they won't be putting their baby to breast. Sweetheart, what you're literally doing is you're hindering the whole process. So you have to be putting your baby to breast, whether the milk is flowing or not. And you have to psych up your mind that this doing, we are doing the do. So whether the milk is in yet or not, you have to be putting the baby to breast so that the whole process can be initiated and then continued. And for a woman who thinks because of her smaller breast, she won't be able to produce adequate breast milk for her baby. You're going to be stressed up, anxious, and this alone can hinder the production of the breast milk. Because as I said, it's a physiological and a psychological process. So mentally, you have to be ready. So physically, put the baby to breast. Signals are sent to the brain. And the brain would in turn release these hormones, or let me say chemicals. And then the whole process is going to start. So as you can see, this whole process has nothing to do with the size of a woman's breast, but rather how often you put the baby to breast. But the size is going to matter in the positioning and the attachment of your baby to breast. And we're going to talk about that in a different video. Thank you so much for your time. For more content like this, kindly subscribe to the channel. Hit on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Please like this video, leave a comment, and share with other people so that we'll be able to eradicate the notion that women with smaller breasts will not be able to produce adequate breast milk for their babies. I mean, they are stressed out for no reason. And I'm going to see in the next video.